And then when I quit, when I left that job, um, doon ko na nag-start yung ano, yung, nag-start ako sa Zach Alvis uh, Studios before yung Ascend. So with that, I'm working with some uh, clients, uh, like gym clients, cafe. Um, I still do a bit of weddings and other work on the side. Pero pinurso ko talaga to work with um, yung mga businesses. Kasi alam ko, they can give me constant work eh, than dun sa events, which work really well. So yung atari ko sa kanila is I'm a social media manager and content creator. Uh, and uh, this is what I can offer for you guys. I can, you know, take pictures and videos, edit them, and I can schedule them, help you with the captions and hashtags. So for them, they found that really, um, really, um, really helpful. Um, so, um, ayun. And then... Yung, yung ano pala, Zach, no? Kasi you mentioned you, mm-hmm. you also volunteered with Hillsong Church, right? The biggest yep. church in, in Australia. So, mm-hmm. paano yun? Like, did, did you, like, attend their church? And what happened? Paano ka napasok sa, sa volunteer um, with them? Yeah, one of the reasons I excited to went to Sydney kasi nga, alam ko yung Hillsong Church, yung main church, is nandito. Right. Yun yung, yung Mecca, yung very first Hillsong Although I know you guys na they're international na. Mm-hmm. Everywhere you go, pang halos may, may heal song. So, yeah, first Sunday ko dito, pumunta pagkag kami sa heal song and I was, um, I was really over, overwhelmed yeah. dun sa, sa production and yung, yung, um, yeah, yung setup, yung crowd, kasi malaki siya. Mm-hmm. Para siyang Hillsong United Conference sa, sa Pinas, pero every Sunday may ganun. So just imagine the feeling. Every Sunday ganun yung ano, ano, conference. Uh, and, you know, say sila Joel Houston, Taya Smith, um, they sing a church um, every Sunday as a, you know, normal na, yeah. na serve And then sabi ko, I need, I want to serve um uh, Kasi I grew up as well in church na nagsaserve sa youth ministry and music ministry. Okay. And sabi ko, you know, if I would have the chance to serve um, in Hillsong, that would be really great. And then, um, yeah, I just talked to some people na you can serve their ano eh, um, uh, different departments. So there's photography team, there's a video team, social media. So right now I'm serving with the video, the TV team, and um, also helping with the social media. So you man, nakita niyo sa Instagram na Instagram story, some of those videos. Um, Iko yung nagshoot. Iko yung gumawa. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, a part of the team, pero madami kasi. Right. Um, hundreds din yung volunteers. So we call ourselves volunteers. So mm-hmm. nag-volunteer ako, and then they gave me training, and then ah, I'll show you guys the pictures na pala. All right. Oh. This parking drive. Can you see it, sir? Yeah. Uh, map. Okay. And I'll go to BTS style. All right. And then just large screen. So you know, okay. Um. Like team, no? Uh, yes. So at the young, I know. And can you guys see it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yung sa, ano, yung control room sa Hillsong. So that's where you can team director. So kita mo yung lahat ng cameras. We usually have about uh, eight cameras per service. Right. Um, and then that was the first picture I took there. And then uh, ayun ako, pagka nag uh every video mm-hmm. all right so in your camera na gamit namin it's a uh, tv camera because it's broadcasted worldwide no yep uh-huh. yep mm-hmm. so ito yung hillsong conference last year ngayon walang hillsong conference um yeah. this year because of uh the covid 
Um, so, yun yung team sa likod, yung Hillsong Worship Team na pa-practice before pumasok yung mga tao. Okay. So, yun, for me, that's a tick on my on my bucket list. Mm-hmm. Kasi sabi ko, dream ko talaga yan eh, na makapag-serve into a mega church. So, the good thing with, um, you know, serving in a mega church, you know, pag pumasok ka dyan, it doesn't matter who you are. Pag nag-serve ka, you, you're all serving, um, you're all serving God. So, if, kung you're a director from somewhere or an intern from somewhere, once you guys serve together, you act as one. Lahat kayo nasa same level. Pero so, dyan mo rin, ano nakuha, Zach, yung, I mean, most of the, some of your clients or some of your contacts? Ganun ba yan? Yes. Um, yeah, some some of my biggest clients came from church. Okay. Uh, just last, uh, two weeks ago, someone, um, emailed me sabi niya um uh, i got your contact from uh someone from church i'm also from hillsong and and then and usap kami and then i found out na malaking company sila um it's a, a coffee roasting company so ayun yung yung network ano eh lumaki lang nang lumaki na i was getting calls from someone na na random talaga and then surprise ng ako say friend from church or uh, someone I met like three years ago uh, referred me na hindi ko na matandaan yung pangalan ng nakilala ko na yun eh. so, sobrang dami eh, no? <laughs> oh, actually in the best uh-huh. pag refer ka ng isa din maganda yung inyong service marirefer mm. ka sa ibang tao eh. mm. I was I'm yeah. just curious no Zach naging cameraman ka ng Hillsong yung skills mo sa pag uh, pag operate ng 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 camera saan mo siya natutunan um started sa sa ano din sa sa college school. that's MMA yes um yung do na start yung basic um and then kasi after college nag-focus ako more on photography so medyo nakalimutan ko yung basics ng video and then when i got here unti-unti ko siyang inaral ulit through YouTube online and itong experience uh, sa training din, church. Diba? Yeah, may training huh? church, right? Yes. Sabi ko may training. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Training din. Yeah. So, um, ayun. So, yun yung ano ko, yung Hillsong story. I'm still serving. So, not much right now because of COVID. Dahil hindi kami allowed to gather din sa physical church. So, everything's done online. So, um, ayun. So, fast forward to Ascend. So, Ascend started um, January um, 2019. Okay. So, last year lang. Um, so, yung story ng Ascend nag-start siya dahil yung Zach Alvey Studios, as I mentioned earlier, dumami na yung clients and when I'm sending someone to the client, they're saying, Zach, I know, uh, you know, this guy, you trust this, your teammate, but we went um, to Zach Ali Studios because he want to work with you, not with your um, teammates. Uh, for me, I think that was fair enough, you know, because I want to work with them. So, the next time you ascend, I said, I'll start um, another company where it's going to be a collective of people that I, I trust and work together. So if I send someone to a client, they will not question me because ano na kami, company na, group na kami. And everyone is on the website. So if they have any um, questions about that staff or that, say, photographer, videographer, they can question me na sino to kasi they're part of the team. So that was the original idea of Ascend. Okay. So... Um, Yun, so tinarget talaga namin yung um, yung corporates and businesses. Um, although it's still good to help um, small businesses and even you know to events here and there. But for career and for the growth of your uh, business or your freelancing, try to target um, businesses. Kahit uh, starting pa lang startup, kasi you'll never know where they will be in the next two to three years. Eh. 
Um, so yun, right now we're working with um, big clients na um, na hindi ko inimagine na makakatrabaho namin. But uh, because of hard work, uh, blessings na grace ni, ni Lord, uh, we're here now working with uh, non-clients. So I think sir, I'll show them the, the show reel. Yeah, oh, okay lang. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Okay, uh, so here we go. So medyo bawasan nyo lang yung volume ng earphones nyo guys kasi medyo um, medyo malakas yung audio nito. Alright, here we go. No, Zach. Hello. Okay. All right. So, given you guys uh, who lesi bamboo pumunta siya dito, um, not not long ago. Tapos kami yung nakuha to um to cover mm. yung ane yung event to okay. highlight video. So yun um first pala uh, first pumunta dito yung uh PNE parokya ni Edgar so kami yung nag ano na nag-shoot and then dumating yung kamikaze uh we were shooting next uh with Nina Sandejas I'm sure you guys know Nina yeah um and then ito si si Bamboo so yan mostly yung mga bands um kami din yung kinukuha nila Il- ilan pala so, kayo sa, sorry, il- ilan kayo sa team like how many how many videographers? Uh, how many um, artists in your in your team right now? Um, we have, I think, 10, 11. Um, so we have. Actually, let's go to the website. These are, ano ba? These are uh, full time people, or do, do they are they ano, also um, parang employed like a regular? Did they have a regular job? Anong, anong, how's the setup? So, all right. So obviously, I'm full time. Mm-hmm. Um, so Kyle, you guys can see it here. Um, he's also full time with the send. Um, I co-manage the send with him. Also my best friend, and then my fiance. She's also full time. Um, finance obviously, and then I have my sister. She's not casual, so content writer and script writer. Uh, here then, uh, the videographer and editor, casual. Um, bless you. She's a casual as well. She also have her own brand. Matt, uh, he's our lead um, photographer before. But he moved back to Brazil now. Mm-hmm. But um, he's still on the website. Because um, we're hoping he will come back soon. Hopefully. <laughs> and Jen, uh, she uh, went to Canada uh, during COVID. Because she alam yang there's not much opportunity for her here and because she's a nurse and also a photographer because she wanted to serve Canada and do more nursing work during this COVID. Um, so Eric Beltran currently in Japan, stuck in Japan to say, si Eric. Eh. So he do mostly uh, architecture and real estate. Um, so Jake Rodriguez, he's a Mexican, uh, our music uh, composer. Uh, Lance, our graphic designer, and Ayun. Uh, Blessy. Um, yeah, I already talked about her. So, you set up mostly casual, part time, three full time. Um, Ayun. Okay. Tapos, go back here. Do they have. Map. 
they have regular jobs as well then, no? Parang ganun. Uh, most of them have their own studio, have their own freelance work. So para kami collective. Yeah. Um para kami Avengers. Uh-huh. Um para mga guys, guys, para kami Avengers lahat may sarili silang movie o may sarili silang um, powers. Pero we sort of join together to serve um, bigger clients, um, to serve, uh, to work on things that are bigger than ourselves. Parang ganun yung idea niya. And, ayan, let's go here. How's my mom here? Ah, oh, yan ako ng college. Presented my, <laughs> tsura ko dyan na. Oh, yan my yan yan. <laughs> Nats, Natska 1 and yung Taipei 101. Um, and then, eto, nagturo din ako ng mga chikiting dito. Photography. Mm-hmm. A basic photography for teenagers. Yan sila. And then I work with, um, I think you guys know this guy. It's Jamie Zhu. Okay. He's an influencer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. It's a bamboo. So, may, may ano rin ba dyan? Like, you, you have yung parang Filipino community na, you, I mean, most of most of your clients are obviously from Australia, right? But yeah. you also have like, uh, you know, like yung Filipino community nga na mga na clients or like let's say they have, you have event like tulad yung pinakita mo ano Ano yan sir sorry yeah, kumbaga meron ding community uh Filipino community nga na that you service aside from mm-hmm. the Australians nga para uh, may mga ganun ba na event na parang alam ba yun, yung mga parang Filipino fiesta <laughs> do, do you do you do that or like do you wala wala masyado eh wala, no? kasi Pero yung bam kalamihan... Yung bamboo uh, kamikaze, what, what's, what's, uh, anong, ano yon Like, anong event yon Um, yun yung con- ni concert sila dito. So, ah, yung okay. producer nila, um, it's Miss Annabelle. She used to work at ABS, I think. I'm not sure she's still working. So, she's, she was doing some uh, producing. I see. So, okay. she yung nagdadala ng mga banda dito. So, um, Nga, so for Ascend, it's it's mostly like ano like corporate clients and you know y- yung kumbaga parang projects talaga. Oh, uh, pero we do like I said, kasi gusto flexible yung ano yung structure ng business na we can do whatever we want. Yeah. Kung di namin feel yung project, kung feel namin di kami mag enjoy, we say no even if and alam mo yun, may okay yung budget. Kasi for me, as a creative, tsaka number one sa akin yung team eh. Pagka hindi kami mag enjoy yung team, alam ko hindi magiging maganda yung trabaho. Hindi uh, mag-work out, no? And also, if we don't believe with the with the business model or yung, yung I guess, yung goals and vision ng company, mm-hmm. we won't um, we won't work with them. So, for me, uh, gonna, we also um, look who kusin yung clients namin, and then um, what they do. If we believe with with the the problems is they're solving, with the issues, then um, yeah, we would like to work with them. Dami din kasi mga business na alam yon, medyo creepy yung ginagawa nila. <laughs> for example. Um, um, you know, like industry na major inappropriate siya, that mm-hmm. will approach us and we would say no kasi hindi siya pasok dun sa, ane, in sa vision namin eh. Mm-hmm. So, it's not a loss for us um, financially um, pero what we're trying to build is a good reputation and integrity with other clients. Yeah. Um, important eh. Yeah, especially yes. when may nakita ako na meron kayong sinushoot na product. I think it's uh, parang vitamin C yata yun. So, mm-hmm. you're telling us that you have to believe on the product, no? Yes, 100%. Uh, no, spend, maybe behind the scenes on it. Uh, here, one of the behind the scenes there. 
So this is like a, um, a recipe um, cooking business app. It's called JS Health. So they also have the vitamins yung nakita niyo din sa website or sa, sa social media namin. Um, yun. Uh, so most of these clients, um, I've worked with them in the past or I really believe with um, what they're doing. Kasi pag kayo, ano eh, pag yung studio and the client, if you understand and communicate very well, mas magiging maganda yung, ano, yung output ng trabaho. So you're not only doing it for the money, but because you understand and believe what they're doing and what problem they're trying to solve with the uh, with a gap in their industry. Mas matutulungan mo sila to form a better story to how how to communicate to their um to their clients. So ayun. Yeah. Should we go to Q and A, sir? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Nice, uh, nice. So, Asher, can I have a two minute break? Yeah, go ahead, lang. I just have to reply to this uh, client. Two minutes. So, guys, um, have a quick water break. <laughs> All right, lang, sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. If I'll you have any questions, later. by the way, uh, producer who's still joining us here, uh, maybe you can just type it in like the chat. Yeah, tapos. Exactly. Or, answer that. Or can they can they do ask questions oh, yeah. live then, for Mel? You can also yeah oh. Pwede naman kayong magsalita na. <laughs> if, you're, if you're interested, anyone here uh, who's still uh, part of our uh, talk right now, you can just uh, yeah, ask away if you want to. Also, don't forget pala, no? Um, uh, we have more more of these talks in the coming weeks, no? Miss, Miss Abby, right? You're also doing a, yeah. a talk from, uh, also in, 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 in uh, Australia, right? Oh, Melbourne. Melbourne naman, based Melbourne. sa oh, Melbourne. Yeah, oh, Marami tayo mga uh, ka- kababayan. Mga kababayan sa <laughs> oh. Australia. Diyan talaga nag-prosper into multimedia arts. Yeah, oo nga eh. Nakaka- nakakatuwa nga kasi, you know, like, uh, I I have like other students then kasi like who's also there pero um uh, yung background nila was um medyo nap- napunta sa electronics oh, okay so, para sa so sabi ko parang okay parang uh, wala mukhang wala yata pero when I when I heard about Zach na medyo nag yun nga booming yung multimedia industry then so sabi ko oh possibly din pala I mean it's not you know hindi oh. lang oh kasi yung siya sabi niya parang uh, pagdating mo dyan, parang you, you, you can't automatically be a, an art director or a designer or whatever, right? Uh, so, uh, yung, yung success story niya is really amazing. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, really amazing. Yung really, kanyang, hum, yung kanyang really, it, what we call the humble beginnings talaga ng kanyang success. Yes, oo, no? Mm. That's yung, my team. Ayan. Okay, nice. And, your, <laughs> and the, uh, yung, yung fiancé mo, no? Yeah, si si it's right here. Si yeah. Mel. Kailan ang ano pala? Kailan ang kasal niyo? Uh, <laughs> Yun yung well, tinanong kasi. Yes, <laughs> sa amin. Um <laughs> dapat may 29 next year. Ah, next okay. year. But um who knows? <laughs> okay. Who knows? Kasi ano eh, we, um I want to bring my family here. Oh. Family from Philippines, pero yung yung travel ban. Um sana will be lifted para they can come here. Ah, wala pa talagang nakakapasok na ano dyan? Sa flights? Uh, meron. But you have to quarantine for two weeks. Oh. And I think at, at this stage, you have to pay for your own quarantine na. Oh, medyo mahal din. And they're gonna, they will take you to a five-star hotel eh. Oh. So imagine oh. yung two weeks more five-star hotel. That will be, um, that will be super expensive. Hmm. Um, all right, Q&A. Meron ba mga nagtanong, sir? Ayan, may tanong si Miss Erin. Miss Erin, also from Maap. Hi, Miss Erin is here. Yeah, Miss Erin is asking. Uh, sabi niya, thank you, Zach, for sharing such an inspiring story. How was like transitioning daw from a student visa to a working visa and having your own business in a foreign country? Right. So, uh, 
ayun kita pa dito kay Aaron kanay. Uh, thanks for your question, Aaron. So, um, the way I transitioned from student visa, so I didn't get a, I didn't go to work visa because I met my partner. Tapos nag ano kami um went to a partner visa. Although I was ready, yung as I mentioned earlier, in some marketing company na inaplyan ko, they were they were already working on my um, on my working visa. I sponsor nila ako, but then during that process, then ko na talaga na realize na I don't want to work with them long term, kasi nga kung paano kami tinatrato. So I am um, my girlfriend back then. Um, Mel, we decided to try yung uh, partner visa. So that was my journey. And then now I'm a permanent resident. Pero if you are, if that's not the pathway that will be available for you for from student visa, pwede ka mag work visa, but you need to find an employer. Uh, ganun lang siya, kasimple. So while you're studying, find a good company that you want to work uh, for a long time and then you need to prove your, uh, you need to prove yourself na you're worth sponsoring because they're gonna pay a lot of money to get you the visa and also they need to pay you I think right now seventy five thousand Australian dollars per year so that's about uh, times thirty four it's about two point five million pesos a year that's how much they need to pay you in salary um the new requirement ng government para mas sponsor ang kanila. And they really need to prove na you are worth sponsoring. Na bakit kailangan kang bigyan ng work visa if there are other Australians. Of course, they want to prioritize the Australians still, yung locals. Pero, um, yeah, you have to show them that you're worth sponsoring. Um, yung, yung work mo, yung ethics mo, and yeah, hard working. Because once you, you know, establish yourself, na gusto mo, map, yung message is hindi ka dapat nila bitawan. Because nga you're a good employee. You're good, you're, you're a good asset to the company. So yeah, they need to see the value. Yung ano? Sorry, yung yung business. Mm-hmm. Like, did you register that or um? Paano yung pag pag ano nung ascend? Like. You have uh, sa government ba? Do you have to parang dito, di ba? You have to file yeah. business permit, mm-hmm. etc. Ganon. How, how paano yeah. dyan? I think it's um totoo lang ang dali dito eh. Kasi I didn't I didn't have to leave the office or leave the house to do all the registration. Everything is done online, so ah. you just need to register for your ABN, which is your Australian business number. Yun yung registration number mo for your business. Okay. And then um yeah sign ano lang. Um, secure mo lang yung business name and yung domain name. Yun na yun. Because once you have your ABN, all your transactions, your invoices, um, mag-register yun dun sa ABN mo eh. Uh, as long as you're working legally, you're not on a cash, like under the table basis, which okay. I highly uh, don't, I'm not suggesting you guys do that because first, it's illegal, it's illegal and it's not good look for your company. Mm, bad record yun, no? Yes, bad record. Tsaka pag nahuli ka, uwi ka na. <laughs> diba? Ma- ma- mamulta ka na, tapos cancel din pa nila yung visa mo. So, it's not worth the risk. Okay, we have a question from uh, our Facebook page. Any plans of expanding in the Philippines? Sabi ni Sir Omar Palami. Um, yes, um, I've spoken to uh, some of my friends there, especially yung... Um, friends in CSP mm-hmm. yung mga ako before classmates ko before like how we can um no integrate yung Sydney studio to to Philippines so that's um will be that's on the on the pipeline so we're looking at that pero at the moment kasi ang dami agents sa Pilipinas na ano eh, na studio talaga eh. diba I'll start freelance mm. and Mahihirap na makipag compete. So what what Ascend is doing now is um, getting contractors, freelancers from Philippines. If I don't know work and I don't know anyone, I would go to um, 
in the creative pages like the uh, icap the independent mm -hmm. creatives and i would post a job there yeah. and um try to help uh, fellow F filipinos uh -uh. Uh, sila ng, um, ng work, work yeah. which is good because um i know yung pricing sa sa dito sa sydney and then yung pricing sa pilipinas mas mababa but mm -hmm. i try to meet them in the middle so mas mataas yung nakukuha nung ano nung creative sa sa pilipinas right right yung ano pala sa so, um paano yung setup ngayon like dahil nga with the pandemic right mm -hmm. um yun nga sabi mo kanina no be before ka nag start um you you still go to the you know to the location shoot parang ganon uh, mm -hmm. tapos uh, wala kayong well may social distancing pero walang wala mga PPEs or any face mask no how, how do you no. deal with that like how do you, uh, lalo na ngayon sa so Australia like is it um, I'm not sure if it's uh, safe ba or what or how how, how do you manage that like you know like with the un ongoing pandemic right now um yep yeah first we still practice the uh, you know social distancing um less contact as possible with the client um and we also do everything uh quicker this time to lessen the uh, the time we spend together in the same room or same studio um pero sa sini kasi hal ano na eh, we really flatten the curve mm. and uh, sa news dito halos wala nang sasabi na there are new cases dito sa sa Sydney okay. pero sa Victoria sa Melbourne din yung tumataas so mas relaxed talaga yung um yung mga tao dito okay. um so yeah that's how we that's how we deal with it i see so parang may um, uh, bago ka magpunta syempre nak nakapag-usap na kayo online right and yeah. uh, medyo na set up niyo na kung paano yung arrangement and uh, mm -hmm. The, the deal and the contract. You also do contracts, yeah. right? You, yes. You make contract kayo, no? okay? I so, this is very important to all the creatives because in daming ko nakikita na they will do all the work pero hindi pa napa-finalize kung nag-approve ba talaga si client dun sa deal. And then, ngayon nahahabulin nyo. Diba? So, what I would suggest is before you start doing anything, have a set contract to be signed by you and the the client. Nandun lahat yung scope of work, kung magkano babayaran. And always ask for deposit. Um, so I learned this from my um, from my grandfather and other fa family members who are really into business. They said, um, you know, if you would go to watch a movie, buy it ka muna, di ba, bago manood. Di ba, if you're gonna order for food, buy it ka muna, bago makukuha yung... Uh, yung in order mo. Yeah. So we can't really do that in a service industry like yung photography and video because sabi ng client, wala pang nagagawa. Um, sumisingil ka na. But you can charge them. Uh, for us with Ascend, we normally charge them 50% right. to secure the, the project if hindi nila kaya at least 25 to 30%. Okay. And it will also bring... Uh, like more credibility to your business because for them or oh, i already paid the uh, deposit ibig sabihin naka lock in na diba oh, i see and with a contract that's the protection of you as a creative and your client na ano man mangyari merong legal document na pwedeng i-present if things go south or things go wrong or what whatever happened mm -hmm. my protection kayo Yun yung importante, no? mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So I think that's it. Uh, if, if you have any other questions, um, anyone? I think we're almost done now. It's already yeah. eleven twenty-five. Yeah, I think we can wrap up. Yeah. yeah. For the questions, um, yeah, you guys can DM me on my Instagram or Facebook if you guys can see my Facebook. Just Zach Alvis. And I'll I'll be happy to answer any questions of you guys. And also Ascent um, Studio, right? Your page. Ascent Studios, Facebook. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Nice. Nice. So, yeah. For me, sir, uh, key key things to take away from this um, conference call is, uh, you know, before you work, um, 
overseas uh prepare niya talaga yung sarili niya na what your uh what you're dreaming what you're imagining right now na magiging buhay niyo yeah. when you work overseas ayun ka agad like me you know i started as a kitchen hand dishwasher and then i slowly worked my way up um to be where i am right now and another thing that's really good being a you know as a business owner uh entrepreneur or studio owner freelancer whatever you call it if you're not working 9 to 5 wala kang 100% security na may salary ka meaning you're going to be a predator you're always on the hunt for new work new clients and the opportunity is much bigger because you have the time you're not locked in in a box if you're an employee na you're working 9 to 5 5 days a week pagka business owner ka lagi ka naghahanap ng more opportunities so what else can you offer what else can you do to you know pay the bills to grow the business and to scale up and mag-iiba yung mindset mo eh kasi from mindset of being an employee na every two weeks every month you have salary but a business owner ka if you don't do the work you don't put in the time and work wala tama, tama. but the more you do um people working 9 to 5 but since you're a business owner you're working say from 9 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. so you're working 11 hours imagine how much you can do in those hours that would, that will put you ahead of the uh, the competition ahead of the game <laughs> yes right. yes okay thank you so much for that all right wonderful insight Zach Alves. Abby. <laughs> oh, we would like to thank you Zach for gracing the Multimedia Arts Association of the Philippines episode 5. Okay, this is our episode. Map talks. Yeah, Map Talks episode. Hey, thank five. you. Okay, we have nice learned thing. so much a lot from the founder of Ascend Studios, Zach Alves, from his humble beginnings and his success stories. Okay, this has been Map Talks. Hope to see you again soon on our future talks. Okay, follow us for more updates on our Instagram mm at MMAP official and Facebook page MMAP official and also YouTube, right? Ma, we also have YouTube channel MMAP. Yeah, this this uh, uh will be also broadcast as or will be recorded, uh, uploaded in our YouTube uh, channel as well. So please share it, subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel for more updates as well. Alrighty. Thank awesome. you so much for all the participants, for those uh, who, are, who stayed with us until 11.30. <laughs> Again, thank you, Zach, for uh, joining yeah. us. Salamat, salamat. Thanks. And Thanks for having me, guys. We uh, wish you more success in, in Australia, and hopefully you can also come back here and, you know, maybe do another talk, you know, in the future. Hopefully soon. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you, thank you for having me. Thank you, Miss Abby. Right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Vermel. Thank you, Zach. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye-bye.